Hey guys, it's Jaeger262 and welcome back to Armored Warfare. Now for anybody who hasn't seen my World of Tanks video, because you just came for this one, the reason I've missed so much news lately, firstly in Armored Warfare, is because there wasn't a lot to report on, and I'll get into what I mean by that, because a lot of things did change, but it's just not what was expected, for me at least. Second, as I explained in that video, about... For the past week to two weeks, I've been having a lot of trouble with my recording software. It stopped recording audio altogether. It just kept crashing because it couldn't figure out a way to make videos with no sound. And that started because of an issue with my actual headset, which completely broke on me and stopped working. So I couldn't record sound there anyway. I was gonna have to find another microphone to use. And that's been a struggle. And then immediately after the program problem, my actual old PC short-circuited, and so the motherboard got fried. The computer was fine, it can still run, but without the motherboard, there was no way to actually get the OS system to just actually boot the computer up. And so it was just stuck in a state of permanently trying to start, but it never did. And that repair cost is going to be ridiculously expensive. I think it was going to be five to seven hundred dollars to get the motherboard repaired. And the people who run the support for my computer was like, "We could do that, but you run a risk of losing everything because we don't do any data backup or any hard drive recovery. We just replace the machine, so you'll lose everything anyway." I didn't have that kind of money. I didn't really know what to do, and so. It took a couple of days, but I'm actually recording this with a new software on a new computer, brand new uh, computer, which I was fortunate enough to have the support to actually get this. Um, my dad actually stepped in and so helped me fund this computer so I could get this back up and running and get these videos back up and running. And so crazy crazy week and just very grateful to have that kind of ability and support and so now that i actually have it up and running and i'm testing it out i hope you guys can hear my voice and i hope this recording goes well so thank you so much to everybody who continues to watch these videos and for being so patient with me uh it's been very hard to make videos and you know thank you to my family for actually being there to support me and everybody has that i'm incredibly fortunate and so without further ado, why I stopped doing videos? Well, first, on Armored Warfare at least. As you can see, this is the Moscow calling update. We're actually in downtown Moscow. This is what it looks like for anybody who's ever been there. Um, obviously all this stuff around, it's modeled for the game, but the skyline here is Moscow. And it's just always a perpetual raining thing. So I usually have the simplified garage just to show off tanks, but I actually really love this one. However, this was a huge update. It took a really long time to get out. And it was like the new season, all this stuff is gonna come with the new season. And some of you probably know where I'm going with this. The French tech tree was finally going to be complete. But as soon as it dropped, this update was actually big. No French tanks. It's so strange to me that they still have not put out French tanks. And I don't know what the story is with that. They haven't really come out and given us too much information about why you uh, they keep promising it, keep saying it'll come out, and then it just keeps getting delayed. They had similar problems with the Israeli tech tree, and so that one didn't come out until August, which is what I'm predicting that these tanks finally will. But I just feel like it's another fumble for Armored Warfare in their long line of just things getting messed up or coming out later. It's just, I don't want to sound bitter, but this tech tree came in March, half done. And now we're going well into July and there's still just no news about what happened to the rest of the tanks. And there's only four of them and that's... Not something easy, it's not easy to design four tanks. I know that. It's not easy to balance a game. I know that. I'm not trying to sound bitter, it's just I think it's a huge fumble on Armored Warfare's part just to not have those vehicles present during this update. As for the actual Moscow story, I did not play it yet. Uh, after 
everything that happened with Halter and killing Sebastian Grimm and that whole storyline. I don't know if anybody actually played the Spec Ops or enjoyed it. I did. So that was like it for me. I don't really know what the new Moscow story is about. I don't know where it's going, where angle it is. But I just haven't played it. I haven't been interested in it. So the last season was kind of it for me, personally. And so all I really got out of that update was this garage, which is cool. But it was just, there was no reason to hype up the new season update as much as they did because something really came with it. Because the Age of Rage Battle Pad, which is up, and I'm going to get to that in a second, released two days later as part of a separate event because that's how Armored Warfare has been doing it. They want the seasons to be one event, and then they want um, Battle Paths to be another. Now, they did release a bunch of rewards, obviously, for the new season and all that, so there is some content. I'll go into that right now. Usually I wouldn't do all of this, but I've missed so much. So you have battle path achievements which I guess you can see here now and there's no rewards for that one you get rewards for where you got rewards for those of the wasteland if you did it uh, trying to find Moscow calling here you go so it's just the basic ones are kind of easy complete chapter one complete chapter two and just the typical stuff money and free experience the vehicle ones although i will say that these while they're the same as the other ones they seem smaller to me just the three million and the thirty thousand um but i'm not entirely sure and then you have the ones for camouflage and decals and all that so that is all there there is content for the new season so i don't want to sound like Again, bitter, like, there's nothing happening here. That Moscow column is just an update for nothing. But it just didn't seem as big as they had made it. Uh, I really was looking forward to the French tanks and all looking so much to just new campaign stuff. Now, moving on to the battle path. Here's something that I want to caution people about. And there's nothing wrong with it, it's just, again, it's $9 to get into the battle path, or instead of doing, last time it was 9 and 24 I think, $9, $24 to get in, now it's 9 or $55 to get in. And I would advise anybody who hasn't done it yet, do not pay to get into this battle path. And the reason for that is just, it's just as ridiculous as the last one. And what I mean by that is, it's just going to be really weird to navigate, really weird to grind. And here's the example. Remember how in the last one, each one of these got their own missions? There's actually no missions for these. The way you do it is, let me go back, you complete these here. Five contracts, or 1,500 battle coins or one contract and the reason I would say don't do it is because like one contract thing refreshes really slow I mean I got 10 hours on this one and so you you're gonna look at unless you just grind contracts and where that comes from here by the way are these contracts so you'd have to do 20 of these in a day or one which is what I've been doing one a day to complete the battle path and so when you look at it that way 82 days does not become a lot when you realize that's the equivalent of about 82 to 100 missions and while the rewards are nice they do match up so you do get enough battle points to continue ranking up and you do get battle points still for playing it's just kind of ridiculous a ridiculous grind just like the first one it doesn't seem to be improved too much however to armored warfare's credit i will say this that doing it this way allows more casual players to do it not quickly but do it at a easier pace it's a pace that never really has to stop however which is what it was advertised as but they make the refresh rate so long it's almost like what was the point of having that improvement in the first place but that's my personal opinion if you like it and you're interested in it nine dollars is not a lot for a ticket in same thing as like a ticket to the movie so 
if you want to do it, do it. All the missions here are going to be for skins. So while they do give you amazing battle point rewards like the last one, you don't actually have to do any of them. Like, for me, I only have the Warrior. I don't have a Centauro, and I sold my T90 with the two other vehicles, so I'm not doing speed or struggle. I'm just doing freedom. However, I will warn you that while it is for, it gives you both PvP modes and PvE modes, which is great. So, you spot three players in random battles with global ops, you do the mission, or you can spot 10 AI vehicles in PvE in a single battle to do the mission. However, just like, and I haven't tried it in a couple of days, to be completely honest, I haven't tried it since it came out. But just like the last Battle Path, if anybody played it and remembers, when it first came out, there was a lot of bugs with it. And so people were completing missions and they weren't getting the rewards, or they were doing missions and the wording of the missions was something different that they weren't covering. It's kind of the same issue. I've done this mission twice now and have not gotten the rewards for it. And that's because I've only tried it in PvE. I haven't gotten it, to, I haven't tried it in any PvP games. And I'm gonna do that after this video and see if it works. But I don't know what the bug is there, but for right now, at least for me, these missions aren't working. And so because of that, it's just... It's just another weird event that really doesn't go anywhere for me, doesn't do anything for me. I don't find it particularly interesting. I personally wouldn't buy in if I had to do it a second time over. I wouldn't buy into this one. I probably won't buy into any battle paths in the future. But it is up and here. For anybody who wants to that's just my take on it and other than that there's no real new vehicles we got some fourth of july content fourth of july was thursday here in the united states and so there was a skin for the starship that came out which i will show you right now i don't have it because i don't buy skins but it's it's basically this. It kind of looks okay. It's called the Independence, but the way they got the red and white stripes on it, it reminds me more of the Union Jack than the American flag, which I just thought was kind of funny because, you know, Independence Day, British, all that. It's funny to me, but that was going on sale for 20. Jesus, sorry, not 20. 2,000 gold or $11. Typical skin. Oh, it has little stars here. Oh, that's cool. That's cute. So there was that. You got some decals, I believe. I can find them. Yeah, you got a shield and a sign. You got these two decals. And that was pretty much it for 4th of July. They gave you 7 days of premium time as well, which is really nice. And as you can see, it is 3 times XP for this weekend. So get on and, you know, get some XP in there, grind some vehicles. But that's pretty much it for out of 2 updates. This is why I was saying I was a little bit disappointed. Is out of 2 updates, we got a battle path that all the improvements they made to the old one were undone by the way that they ran it. Or the way that they operated it so it just kind of seems exactly the same as the first one just as weird just as buggy and then we got moscow calling which is just two new chapters to the story mode and so for two updates that large across two days there was like a huge thing about it it just seems like there really wasn't a lot of actual content put in to the game and again that's just my personal opinion obviously the battle path vehicles are there the battle path rewards are there so if you bought into it you're grinding to it it is 100 worth it for you i'm not saying that it isn't i'm just saying i would have liked to have at least if anything seen a completion of the friend tech tree but that's my personal opinion i will be doing more videos on this battle path as i grind up it i hope that you guys can hear me just fine Again, I'm using the new computer's microphone, I'm using the new software, so I hope everything works out. And eventually I will be making videos with a headset again sometime in the future. But please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. 
just wanted to support the channel it really helps a lot subscribe if you want to get notified on any of my next armored warfare videos on the battle path any of my world of tank videos that are going to be coming up or if you're from the miniature side of my channel I will be doing more miniature videos later today, so I'll be uploading those again. I'm going to start making videos now that I have the actual hardware and computer to do it. And so I'll be doing that again all this week, all this month. So thank you so much for being patient, for supporting the channel. It really means a lot to me. And as always, I will see you next time.